Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Jasmine, we are trading at 0.004968, 24-hour volume, we're up 13%, and market cap, we're down 3.53%. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering over our immediate short term for four hours, and of course, taking a look on our daily scale here, because there is something I wanted to point out, and back testing these moving averages to basically show you guys where the price may lead up in the next couple of hours or so or anticipating in the next couple of days so in our last video we were covering the triangle here ultimately with our candlestick breaking through our support line where i was anticipating the price to retest the resistance level was around 23 percent of our fib at the 5227 we can see gauging from the volume we did cross over of the momentum of the macd indicator with only one of these green histograms at the peak coming up to 38% of our FIB. Now, a bearish move that we are seeing as the price aggressively tried to come up and close above the 20 MA was basically this rejection that we see here. So whenever we see that rejection time after time again, then it does again show that weakness of the bulls trying to push the price. And again, the sellers taking advantage where we see this engulfing red candlestick as the price is moving heavenly on the sellers. So so the things that we can observe on our camp um, on our indicators is our stock RSI here. We can see our K line dipped below our D line at a critical 50% here. So it was considered as overbought here. As we can see, the um, MACD indicator crossed below um, and triggered the momentum in this bear side here. So we are going to anticipate heavy selling going into today until we can be able to see some bullish reversals here. Um, I'm quickly going to change over to the daily time frame. So this is what I wanted to show you on a daily time frame is essentially our two moving averages. And normally we focus on a shorter moving average such as the 20 or the 50 with a larger moving average of 100 or 200 to see some death crosses. But what I've examined in the last couple of days here is whatever we see the 20 moving average, which is this yellow line and the orange moving average when we see the 20 moving average dip below the 50 it goes into this bear phase when we see the 20 moving average cross above the 50 it goes into a bullish trend itself so um, taking a look back here on january 15th we see that crossover of our 20 ma above our 50 and then taking a look even further we have another pinpoint here what we may um, see in the next couple of hours again is the 20 moving average coming below our 50 moving average and that triggered that bear trend itself. Um, if we take a look even further here, we can see the 20 moving average move above, but it did close above and move below um, just a couple of days afterwards. Um, again, if we take a look up here, with the crossover, we see the 20 moving average crossing below and we see that on April 18th. So that's something that I've observed in the daily time frame because I can see um, in today's candlestick, most importantly, we are seeing that sell off and we are seeing the 20 MA possibly closing below and crossing over the 50, which is going to be a continuation of this bear trend on our daily time frame, And most importantly too, we are seeing our descending um, channel here where we're continuously making a lot of high low peaks. So we can see these swing candles coming to this peak. We can see today's swing candle as well. The candlestick wick touched at the very top of our trend line. So the next proceeding price here that we may see the price come down is coming down to our next channel. And this is a point where I wanted to show you guys in today's video a possible possible support number. So one of the things here we can observe from our FIB retracement 
is our first line of support at 0.004906. Quickly taking a look on the left-hand side here, we do have some candlesticks on February 1st, dating back to January 15th with these candlestick wicks at the very bottom here. So this is going to be our first line of support. Now, Considering this is our first line of support, we do see the MACD indicator getting stronger in the momentum of the bear wave here. And most importantly, our RSI here is going on a downwards trend for our K line. K line currently right now is at 3% until we see that crossover from our D line, which is this orange line in an uptrend. Then that's when we're going to find the maximum support. Knowing that the price is already around the 38% we may actually just see the candlestick body overextend, possibly a candlestick wick at the very bottom extending down to our second line of support here. So our second line of support that I have is going to be feeding into this profile volume, um, this blue and yellow indicator off to the side here, which does measure volume at dollar amounts. So we're looking at this area of supply from roughly around 4526 to 4688. And if the momentum of the MACD indicator in this third wave here is as strong as it's already showing us, we may see that candlestick wick overextend into this area here. So those are the two things, or I guess three things I wanted to point out in Jasmine going into today. We are proceeding into more of a bullish sell-off feature. And even in the four-hour time frame, it has opened up and we can see the momentum of the spaces in between our two lines here. So just proceed here with caution. Um, and then we are going to be monitoring how this does play out here with the 20 and the 50 moving average here to see if it does kind of follow the historical past that we have seen with these two moving averages crossover. So that wraps up my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, like, subscribe, and comment down below to support the channel, but I'll see you next time.